The Funko Marvel Collector Core box has gone downhill over the last couple of years. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, so you get the right time. We got an all time line. Funko's hot toys and chimes don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it once, we are together. Yes. talk about in this video how things used to be awesome and how over the years have gone completely downhill and how things could be better. Today we received our Eternals Marvel Collectigore box and we're going to show you everything that's inside. Some of it's okay but some of it's trash. So let me take you back a couple years. When I first started collecting Funko the Marvel Collectigore box came out months later and in the first box we got an awesome Hulkbuster armor Iron Man. This thing was amazing. He was huge. It was really heavy. It felt like you were getting your money's worth from the Marvel Collector Core box. That Hawkbuster was dropped back in 2015 when the box first started. And it was on a website, marvelcollectorcore.com. Now it's been taken over by Amazon for whatever reason. Fast forward to this year, and we got boxes like the Lucha Libre box. The Lucha Libre box. The Lucha Libre box. We need to be really careful because all of the Luchador fans are going to come out and all over us for not liking them. Yeah, a lot of people got very angry that we didn't like the Lucha Libre Funko Pops, but they're just horrible. Seriously though, I get that they are based off of something, but I just don't feel like they fit in Funko Pop form. They just don't look good to me. I'm not a wrestling fan. I'm not a luchador fan. I'm not into any of that stuff. So therefore, I'm not going to like them. That's just how it is. Exactly. But this year, we actually got a couple of cool boxes, like the Marvel Zombies box. That box was amazing. It was really cool. And then there were low points, like the What If box that came with that weird collector and that Black Widow that no one wanted. <sighs> So the Marvel Collector Core boxes have literally been hit or miss. And I noticed a lot of people saying they're going to skip this month's box. They're going to wait until next month's box. And then when next month's box is revealed, people are then skipping that one too. A lot of people are skipping these boxes lately. And I wondered how could Funko actually make this something awesome? Aside from taking it away from Amazon because Amazon has really sh customer service and at one point canceled my Marvel Collector Core subscription. Seriously though, Amazon typically has very good customer service. I think that you just don't know how to talk to people. No, this happened to a lot of people actually. I'm not the only one, Heather. Thanks for trying to pin it on me, but f Amazon and f them for canceling my subscription. Jesus. I've been a Marvel Collector Core subscriber since day one and they canceled me? Me? Yeah, you. Maybe you shouldn't have told them to. I didn't. They just did it. <laughs> What are you talking about? Don't do anything. So how could they improve this box? Well, they could stop putting sh in the box. <laughs> That's a really good way of having a better box. I think if they started packing in things that we really want, variants that we would really like to have, characters that we haven't gotten from the MCU franchise, then this box would be super, super over the top. How about a black light box? That would be really cool. How about a box that has the Destroyer from the Thor film? I've been asking for that for years. Or a Watcher, but in galaxy paint. Yeah, sure. Or how about Iron Monger from the first Iron Man movie? That'd be amazing. Yeah, but instead they're giving us boring variants that should be commons. Remember in the past when we got the Bruce Banner and Hulk? Yes, those were awesome. And how about that light up Mysterio? They also had my favorite Spider-Man Funko Pop of all time in one of the Marvel Collector Core boxes. That was a great one. That's a great Funko Pop. And why can't Marvel Collector Core continue to do this? Instead, we're on a downward trend. Like the angel from the X-Men box that nobody gave a f about. Trash! When instead they should be giving us more of the Loki with the horns from Thor Ragnarok. Yes! But today we have the Eternals box and we're going to unbox it and see what's inside. I'll be honest, I saw what's inside and I don't think this deserves an unboxing. So we get this pin of the Domo, which is the Eternal ship. We get this t-shirt of all the characters. That's really cool. Yeah, I like the t-shirt. We get a Thena sticker, which I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do with it. I, I never know what to do with the stickers. You get a card that shows you everything that's packed in. And the next box, it says coming soon. Check Amazon.com slash MCC for our next theme. That is stupid. 
stupid. Okay, I know exactly why they're doing this. Why? Because everything is really backed up because of the pandemic, I bet you. Uh... And they don't know what the next box is going to be. They probably have a lot on order. So they're gonna have to select whatever the next one's going to be once it gets in. The next one really should be No Way Home. It's not going to be. It's not going to be, that's that's what it should be. Yes. All right, so we get a Kingo and an Icarus Funko Pop, and I'll be honest, I'm really excited about the Kingo because he was my favorite character of the film. Yeah, but why are you excited about this pop? It's hardly any different from the common. I like that his hand is like sort of on fire. Like I'm kind of digging it. His hands are on fire in the common. The common is him shooting something out of his hand, but I really liked him dressed down. Okay. Icarus is literally the common with his fists sort of up and gold eyes. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like I like both of these. They look cool, but they're not Marvel Collector Core box worthy, in my opinion. No, they should be in like a fighting stance or just something. Anything but whatever the f*** this is. A lot of people didn't like this film. I actually did like the film. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yes. It was different. It didn't really feel like an MCU film, but I really did enjoy it. I loved it. But Marvel Collector Core box cannot continue to go on with stuff like this. No. These pops are kind of cool, but they're not worthy of this box. And I feel like that these are way too close to the common. I do like Kingo, cause he's my favorite character from the film, but I'm about to get the common. So I don't even know if I'll give a about this anymore. He does have the gold eyes though. So overall this box is like a five out of 10. Like the t-shirt is the best part of the entire box. We're not getting Marvel Collector Core boxes that are 10 out of 10 anymore. No. We used to, we used to get awesome boxes. Do you remember the end game box with the Captain America where he has the shield and he has the hammer? Yeah. That was amazing. But we're not getting that anymore. Instead we're getting Kingo in a Letterman jacket. What's he doing going to school? Marvel Collector Core needs to go to school and figure out how to do this better. So guys, what do you think about the Marvel Collector Core boxes as of late? And what did you think about this box in particular? We'd love to know. Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. Look out tomorrow because we are posting our best of 2021 video and the following day we're posting the worst of 2021. So make sure you stay tuned and check those out. Head over to sevenbuckspop.com every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. That's when they do their big pop drops and you can pick up a really awesome grail over there. Also, if you want to protect your grails, go over and buy a pop shield armor with a magnetic lid. These things are amazing and they're the best way to protect your grails. Sevenbucksofpop.com. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Michael Petrino, John Bailey, Brian, Gabriel Lage, Stars and Stones, Tony Hagman, Danny Linda, Greg F, Broken Pikachu Tail, and Fletch. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time.